Hello everybody, Prime Time Off here with a retro review for you. And it's a retro review that a few years ago I would never believe I would have been talking about this toy. Now through the episode we chatted about um, the, the experience I've had in picking up a lot more of the kind of Unicron Trilogy toys um, through the last two or three years and finding a real appreciation for them. And we talked about one in, in particular. And one, again, I don't think I would have ever said that I would have owned again. One that switched me off the line. One that I remember being like, oh, no, nope, you've lost me. This tra is Transformers mainly not for me anymore. And now I feel totally different about it. And it is Armada Laser Beak, which, if you compare it to G1 Laser Beak, is... Nothing other than the fact that it's a kind of spy recorder type. Firstly, it's an Autobot. And secondly, it is a toy that doesn't scale with other toys. Now, grand scheme of things, and I said this in the, the episode, um, Alt Mode Soundwave does not scale with Optimus Prime Alt Mode in G1. Megatron G1 Alt Mode does not scale. So that that's not the biggest factor in general terms. And you, as a kid, you just accepted that. It came to this, I just remember being like, I am not clicking on this, it doesn't work for me, it doesn't. Uh, but now that I've got it, again, having picked it up, I absolutely love it. Now I've not got batteries in it and I very much believe in not putting batteries in older toys because I just freak out that they're going to um, not work or they're going to burst or something or I'm going to forget about them. So I kind of try my best not to put batteries in. But I absolutely love this thing. The colours on it are mental, like orange camcorder. When we go back to the thought process of robots in disguise, what colour a cam is it a is it a cam well it's got my, my brain went dirty there. Uh, an orange camcorder is not going to be in disguise, but in the grand scheme of what Armada was, does any of the stuff look in disguise? It kinda lose it. We've fell away from that aspect now. There's obviously uh, in this era you have things like alternators coming in which are more kind of going for proper in disguise blended vehicle modes and stuff. Let's take away from that. Let's go back to what Transformers is all about. Transformers are about fun toys that are fun to transform, have got a playability factor to them, and just bring joy to you. Now, this that thing has that in spades. It's just there's some absolute unique charm about it, and the joy of getting back to these toys that I have thoroughly enjoyed. Um, and there's a good few of these toys I could have done a review about. I decided to pick this one because it. it um, epitomises how I feel about this era of toy and specifically about going back to toys um, of the past. So when this was coming out, especially at the time you're, you're kind of, you know, in this era we're looking at kind of getting to the alternator stage, we're about to have Masterpiece coming out, we're, we're in the era where we're starting to get new versions of the G1 stuff we love and it gives us the, the vibes and the feels that we probably really wanted. This did the opposite, and I remember just being like, no, I don't want that. I want a G1 laser beaker. I want a G1 Optimus. I want... I don't need that anymore. None of us need that. We have more laser beaks than we could count. We have more Optimus Primes than we could count. So actually, it's fun and endearing when something slightly different comes along. Um, and what I always love is when they've kind of got a, a kind of something that just is a bit of fun and a bit of difference. And I, I very much, you know, um, enjoy that aspect of just picking something up and just having it being something you can play with. It's an easy transformation. It's a fun transformation. It's simple. It can become like a little um, fidget toy. You don't need overly complex. You don't need it to be anything else. Yes, okay, it doesn't scale with anything. But does it really need to? Can we not just appreciate it for what it is? So this is my review of... Um, Armada Laser Beak. I highly recommend, um, I've told Simon, I think I said it on the episode, that my mission is now to get Simon, um, hopefully TFN Mini ready, Minicon Reading, to get him an Armada Laser Beak because I do believe this is a kind of fun toy that everybody should own just for a wee bit of, hold on, let's just, I'll, you know, can I video the audience? Um, I think there is just a sheer simple joy in something like this. It's quirky, it's fun, it's Transformers in a nutshell. So that's my retro review for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you've not experienced this toy, they are not expensive. Pick it up, have fun. If you've if this is what switched you off, and I absolutely resonate with that, go back to try these things, go back and pick things up. You know, the Armada line has some absolute belters in there, some really good that do scale fine, and then some just good fun ones. Till next time, thank you.